Hey folks, Tom Vassell here. Welcome back to Essen Fair 2017. Today we're doing a walkthrough of Hall 2. Now Hall 2 is possibly my favorite hall at Essen because it doesn't have the biggest companies, but it also doesn't have the smallest companies. It has the ones in the middle. And so those ones in the middle have just some amazing games. Now it is about 30 minutes before they open the doors to the hall. So you're gonna see a lot of people here getting things ready, a lot of running around. And so there's a lot of just really cool stuff here. We're gonna just do a walkthrough of Hall 2 and see what we can see. There's box shot games. You know, what's he building in there? Things like that, good help banditos. Over here we have Wrath Scalers. You know they've made a lot of tables for the dice tower. We use our, our component drop thing. We usually have one of the tables at our booth. Great stuff. Over here, magic. Now there's not a ton of magic actually at the fair. Oh, by the way, here's Battle Stations. I should mention that too. Gorilla Games and their stuff. There's not a lot of magic at the convention, but there is some. So, you know, if you want to play Magic together, you can get it here too. The other great table company that exists is Beacon Sun. So here you can see they're getting ready. I still love this Viking boat table. Would never work in our house or studio, but man, Sam really likes it. So, oh, there's the Geek and Sun Camp with Tom Basso that they're promoting here. So, hopefully, some of you watching might want to come to that. Over here, you can see lots of games. A big game seller about to open. Over here, Mind Clash games here in front of me. I really like how their stuff looks. So, hopefully. We'll have a chance to review some of their stuff soon. Become a board game designer. The board game creative kit. This is kind of a neat thing. It's on Kickstarter. You know, you want the stuff to make a game. There's all the pieces for it. There's a small cranial creations booth, but they actually have a bigger one somewhere else. So we'll find out when one is set up. Remember again that not everything is open yet, but Here's a cool booth. Every year I like to come by here. If you want some, just like dishes and things with meeples, and salt and pepper shakers, it's colorful, it's bright, it's fantastic. Um, here we apparently have indoor boomerangs. There's viral so you definitely um, tell people to come here and get that it's a really great game now in this area we have Clask um, in the epic magnetic battle Clask and so they have a giant Clasks and normal size Clask and also they're showing Bonk four player Clask special ones um, around the corner here more game sellers In front of me is Kapla Games. Kapla Games is one of the best booths for dice. All right, there's Carnivore Koala from Voodoo Games. I don't know why that name just makes me smile, but I find that to be enjoyable. Feudum over there, which is on Kickstarter, doing incredibly well. I think I might have missed an aisle here, but whatever. Here's Biosphere, a lot of people. Here's the Board Game Geek people collecting games for BoardGameGeek.com. Over here we have Firefly Adventures and Doctor Who. What's that? Formal Ferret Games over here. Of course I talk about the Board Game people. Collecting games. Here's the Dice Tower person collecting games. Vengeance and things like that. Alright, let's spin around the corner. Oh, we can't spin around this corner. That's that store area that was blocked off. But that's okay. We're going to go right down the next one. 
what do we got over here? We got Dwarf 7 and Centauri Saga. I ran into these guys at Halicon. That's neat. Spielworks has a really big booth. Um, artwork. Really nice on the side of these. Black fire. You can see down here the different offices. And in fact, there's the, the heavy cardboard room and we'd make fun of him and, and make faces at him, and, but he's not here. But that's kind of cool. He has his booth here so you can like look in there and say hi to him. Here's Rebel with Dream Home. Rebel has a pretty cool booth. You can see they built like a little house here for Dream Home. They got the expansion for that here. Galacta directly in front of me with Age of Thieves and this war of mine. Over here we have Attack on Titan and more of the Spielworks booth. Again, the Spielworks booth is, I mean, it's, I guess it's, it's Blackfire and Bushy Road. So there's a lot of stuff to see here. Ultra Pro, so that's pretty cool. Pokemon. Here's a, oh, I really like the Korea board game stand. I mean, I mean, pancakes and Topita. That's some pretty cool stuff. Chiochi, these are the guys who are gonna be making Kingsburg. Although I don't believe Kingsburg is here. Some more Pokemon. There's Japanime to my left. Dragon Shield. There's a lot of, you know, people making card sleeve stuff at this point in time. More games. Dyes has a big booth. Of course, Dyes is the folks who are uh, making the app you know, where you'll be able to learn games from it. I've heard nothing but good about it for the people who use it. Devere selling off their games. Lots of cool games that these guys have. I'm excited about their Michael Strogoff game. In front of me, North Star Games getting ready to Happy Salmon, everyone. And and evolution and things like that. Strawberry Studios with their little small games, but ones that are seem to be very popular. An offshoot of NSKN games. And you can hear like the the level of noise in here is picked up because we are imminent to when they're gonna open the doors. So everyone is rushing around trying to get everything ready. Um, I think we missed a couple small booths back over in this corner. We don't want to miss the plans of Caledonia. So that's over here. And there's the uh, Board Game Accessories E Raptor with some really cool stuff. Really like their stuff. They make the Dice Tower Dice Towers. More games. I mean, this is like a giant game store at points. So that's definitely cool things to see. There's Waykick. This is where I first played Waykick back in the day. Waykick has some similarities to Class, um, but it's been around longer and the boards are bigger. Over here, really beautiful dice. These are some of the nicest dice. This is one of my favorite dice makers here. These guys make great stuff and they also have the 120 sided dice, which are totally worthless, but I still want them to use. And they make the best 100 sided dice. Another table stand here in front of me. Over here, some games, Red Imp games. So last year, the Martians was pretty hot. I actually don't know what their big game of this there is. Dream Catchers. Uh, I'm not, this is one of two dream games uh, at the fair that's making some noise. Games Workshop directly ahead. They're pushing, of course, their new stuff. Last year, they were pushing uh, Blood Bowl, but this year, they're going to be pushing um, 
Oh, whatever that game is that Sam's really liking. The name has escaped me. Over here is Phalanx from Poland. And Hans and Gluck. Carcassonne Central. Lots of Carcassonne stuff. Shadespire. Sorry, I saw the sign for it. Is the, the Games Workshop game I'm talking about. And it seems to be doing really well. Dust over here on the side of me. And I think, folks, that that is about it for Hall 2. We've seen pretty much most of it. And again, we probably missed stuff because with the weaving we're doing, although there really isn't any good way to walk through these halls. You know, because there's just so much stuff all over the place. Like here's Winning Moves booth on the side. And there's a, a small company, Iron Games, and there's probably a few more small companies. But anyhow, that is what we have here in Hall 2. Thanks for watching. This is Tom Vassell from Essen 2017. We'll see you guys next time.